Hello and welcome to another episode of Retrospective Gaming. In this episode we will be covering Gun. Now when you talk about western games most people will pop up and say Red Dead Redemption. And while I do like that game I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about a game that came out before that. Gun. And I found it to be a very underrated game and I was hoping that a sequel would come out but it looks like them chances are very slim. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about gun. So get your six shooters ready. Now let's get started. The story starts off with you, Colton White, and your father, Ned, hunting game in the wilderness. Now after you save his life from a grizzly bear, you will, you will board a steamboat to sell the meat. But once you're there, you find out that Ned has other intentions than just selling the meat. But before you can find out what those intentions are, the riverboat is attacked by a murderous preacher named Reed. And unfortunately, your father Ned is killed on this attack. But wait, before he saves your life by pushing you off the boat, he tells you that he's really not your father and that you must go to Dodge and find a woman named Jenny. And this is where your journey starts. Now, I really like the story in Gun. It's, it's maybe it wasn't the longest game and it's not the greatest story in the world but it was very action packed and it kept me wanting to know what happened next in the game now just a little minor spoiler if you think that Reed is the main bad guy in the game then that's not true you come to find out a little later that the main man behind all this is a man named Magruder and his his character has a history with your stepfather and to find that out is really interesting this is not just you getting revenge for your stepfather's death it's you finding out who you are it's you finding out what was so damn important on that steamboat that everyone on the boat had to die just to get try try to get this item but if I could describe this story in one word I just say greed and that's what I think you know like most evil characters what drives Magruder in this game. I really like the story a lot. And the best thing I liked about it, that from beginning to end, it's very action-packed. So, I think that you will like the story in Gun if you're into these type of Western action-packed games because I had no problems with the story. I kind of wish it would have been a little longer. I mean, it's, it's a very short game. But then again, I was having so much fun throughout the whole story and I really wanted to find out more and more about these characters' history and why all this happened that, you know what, I can forgive its short length. Now the game playing gun is very simple, yet I found it to be very fun. Now, hence the title, you're going to be doing a lot of shooting. But the one great thing about this game is that early on, after you do the tutorial missions where you're just finding out the basics of the game it really drives you into the action early on and it does not stop that's the great thing about it it may be a very short game I'm not gonna lie it's not a long game but at least what it does is for that short period of time you are engaged in a lot of scenarios that require a lot of shooting and a lot of fun so that's the, that's the one thing that gun does very well now the side missions are not deep at all. There are things like Bounty Hunter where you just hunt people down and collect money or do other things like be a deputy which is the same thing of hunting people down or delivering stuff on a horse. And basically all that's there, all it does is bring your stats up. Yes you do have stats. It's nothing complex, just the side missions are just there to get you money and bring up your stats so your character could be a little better there is money and you can buy upgrades and the variety of guns may not be the greatest but it's enough to keep you interested there's not a not a lot of guns in this game I guess since the time period there weren't like dozens of guns floating around but it's certainly enough to keep you interested now I really didn't like the side missions in this game I mean yes they're quick and they're simple and they're not boring it's just their simple, easy quests. I mean, they're, you want story, you have to play the main story in this game. The side quests are nothing more than kill here, go here, or take care of these people here. So that's the one gripe that I really had about the gameplay in Gun. And the second gripe I had is that it is an open world, and the open world is not that big, 
but it's not very fleshed out. I mean, there's only two main cities, and there's a couple of more areas, but there, it just seems like they could have put at least a couple of more areas in the game to flesh it out a lot better because you're going to be going along a lot of land that's just empty so those are my only gripes with the game playing gun other than that i found it very fun and most important very action-packed now i really have nothing bad to say about the sound and gun to me the guns sound great the main and side characters do their part very well now to me the character that stood out is reed just because he's a really creepy and odd motherfucker. Reed the priest in this game is one odd motherfucker. And I hate to say that again, but it's the truth. And he really stood out to me. He creeped me out. So yeah, overall with the sound, I really had no problems with it. The background music, while it's not always there and it may not be as engrossing as other games but still it does its job now i think gun has a really great atmosphere too even though like i said earlier that the world is not fleshed out by all means and there's a lot of empty areas it still reminds you of a western and it still does its job of bringing you into the world that is gun the characters the way the towns look the way the the plane feels look when you're just riding your horse around it all does its part very well and the developers that made Gun did a good job of bringing you into that western action-packed environment. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that you can hunt and you can mine for gold in this game. So yes, that also adds to the atmosphere too. So overall, I think that they've done it very well and that I really had no problems in that area. I would recommend Gun to anybody that is a fan of westerns or just a plain old fan of action games. The characters are interesting and the story does enough to keep you engaged in what is going on. Now by no means is it perfect, but still if you're looking for a short game, because it is short, but if you're looking for that type of game with plenty of action and enough stuff to do during this short period of time, then I would recommend Gun to you because it is a good game. I think it's underrated and I wish that a sequel would come out but the chances of that are very slim. So yeah if you like what you see in this video then why not check it out you should be able to get it for cheap. And thank you for watching another episode of Retrospective Gaming and if you haven't subscribed yet why not check out the rest of my content and consider subscribing and have a great day.